What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today we did receive an update. It was small, but it did have some good changes in it, in my opinion. I will link the patch notes in their entirety down in the description below if you would like to read over them yourself. But we did have some fixes for various improvements to reduce frame drop, and I've have been having a good bit of frame drop personally myself on PS4. Is that also they changed the clan member UI color to not conflict with elite enemies, fixed an issue where player uh, players in the clan and the XP contributions could stop registering, changed push to talk to be default VIOP settings, uh, changed in the apparel store purchase confirmation button in the UI, reduced the UI flickering, and a few other UI fixes. Also, they worked on the skills again. They said they fixed the abnormal skill behavior when equipping a skill after having switched to a grenade. Uh, some instances of the skill going on cooldown uh, when the, uh, when deploying a shield. So there were still some issues with those, those skills going on cooldown. And fixed an issue where multiple cluster seeker mines could be deployed in short, in short succession. Also, some other things that did go on with today's fix was... Um, they also fixed an issue where donating a weapon with mods attached would remove the mods from the player's inventory. Um, also, they did some gameplay fixes, fixed daily and weekly missions, not resetting for offline players. Now, I have not had an issue since the last update about the dailies, not resetting or anything like that. The issue I have been having is in my clan that the cache, the clan cache does not reset. I have not opened a clan cache yet since the game has come out. Uh, my clan cache has not been working correctly, so I'm not quite sure what the deal with that is, but hopefully this will have fixed that as well. Uh, improvements made to co-op health uh, scaling, fixed uh, players uh, potentially becoming stuck on meet with the Odessa Sawyer objective, uh, fixed skill damage incorrectly being scaled twice for low-level players joining a, joining a high-level group, fixed an issue where armor or gear scaling would not take world tiers into account. Also fixed an issue that would allow players to upgrade neutral control points. That was one of those things um, that people were doing. I'm sure most of you knew you could go in, do the control point, turn the flag white, and then go do the objectives around it, around it, and it would make it level three. Then you could go back and just fight a smaller wave instead of having to do all the waves by yourself on level three. Lately, it had not been working correctly. I had tried that because, yes, it was easier to do. But lately had not been working correctly and it was freezing things up and, and acting odd so apparently they have just fixed that in general and fixed an issue that will cause low level players to gain uh, unattained amounts of xp by completing side missions with a high level group member also some pc fixes fixed an issue where some logitech headphone users experienced missing in-game audio uh, xbox one got a fixed issue where the hdr setting slider would not move Guys, that's pretty much the majority of it. Um, like I said, it wasn't a massive uh, update, but I did, uh, in my opinion, it did have some things that were pretty good in it. Of course, next week we will be getting uh, the big update for World Tier 5, so I will definitely be bringing a video for that when that happens. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And of course, if you're a new subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner of my YouTube page. That way, you know, when all my videos go live, because sometimes YouTube is weird about notifying people but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it like i said and i appreciate it and i'll catch you next time peace